this topic the uh, talk about brakes. In the brakes, we have two DC brake and AC brake. Uh, for this project, uh, we use uh, yeah sorry for this project we use DC and AC brake. So why is DC brake? Why is AC brake? So let me uh, show it to you. This is the uh, AC brake. Uh, this is the outlet of this AC brake. Sorry, this is, this is the outlet of a DC brake. The function is to stop the driven uh, stop and uh, slowing down the driven uh, components. Mainly mount at the motor is a spring applied uh, electrical release unit, which means uh, it feels safe. Why we call feel safe? Because when you provide power to it, when there's power, the brake only release. So let's say in an event where there's power failure, you always lock. So you you avoid the thing the load from slipping. So whenever there's power, you total cut off. So it's called fail safe. And the main component, major component will be this uh, brake set, brake lining, and armature plate. So yeah. here is the slide when it says when the coil is de energized, the spring applied to a station force, the stationary plate applied to the station plate. When there's no, which means when there's no power, no DC supply to the brake, it will lock. Okay, this is the component of the DC brake. So you can read through here. This is the explosion, uh, exploded view and uh, of the components. So you can see here the brake line, plate, armature plates, all this. Uh, to determine, you can refer to this page if you want to know which part of the motor uh, of the brake. And this is a cross sectional view of the. Uh, Brake, uh, brake come with liner, all this brake coil. This is the part where it energizes and you frack. This uh, this coil when you this supply to it, you energize the coil, and you uh, you bring the plate closer to the this plate closer to the coil uh, to the to the this this part, and you release the plate. Take note, there's an air gap here. This air gap is critical. We need to adjust accordingly to the spec. Let's say the gap, the air gap given, are not according to the specification. There will be two possibility. If you give the air gap too big, you cause the thing to slip, to slip down. If you give uh, the air gap too small, the wear and tear of the lining will be very fast. So it's critical to think about this. How to use this? Uh, how to determine this? They actually call. Uh, there's a tool called filler gauge. Just uh, slide through the filler gauge and see the the gap. Since this is a DC uh, of a brake, we need a rectifier to convert the AC voltage into DC because in our control system, in our control supply. We don't have DC. What we do, we actually convert AC to DC via rectifier. So this is the typical connection inside our terminal. When you open our motor terminal, you can see the rectifier is here. Uh, this is the PTC, motor PTC, and then this is the winding connections. So this typical is the rectifiers uh, which uh, which uh, convert the supply. Uh, AC supply to DC and energize the brake. And this is the connections of the winding, uh, the connection of the uh, uh, brake uh, rectifier to the motor. So we have two bridge rectifier and fast excitation uh, rectifier. In an event where we want to have a fast opening of the uh, brake, we use a uh, fast excitation rectifier where in the initial start, the voltage given AC was this, and after it opened, it will reduce to a lower voltage. This one we call fast excitations. Next, we go for AC brake. This is AC brake, and this is a component of AC brake. Uh, 
this brick, thruster, the, the arm, the bag, the lining shoe, this lining shoe which you need to replace the uh, earring. This is the component, cross sectional view, and this is the thruster sections of the thruster plate. Uh, take note, they have uh, oil here, the oil specification for the thruster brake. Okay, uh, this is all for brake.